Podcast. Last week, my wife and I finally got a chance to check out Mini Boss, an awesome beer cave located in the heart of beautiful downtown San Jose. Even before we entered, we were impressed with the architecture of the building. Our first reaction upon entering was to be impressed by the incredible bar layout. Mini Boss had a great selection of beers on tap, liquors for top shelf cocktails, and of course a lot of retro themed nostalgic awesomeness to look at. Oh yeah! Looking at the custom menu, we had to decide what specialty drinks to try first. My wife ordered the Ziggy Piggy, a delicious tequila based cocktail with watermelon, lemon, and bubblegum extract. She loved it. As for me, I went full calabunga with my choice and ordered the Secret of the Ooze, a great lime cocktail for a group of people. There was no way I was passing up the chance to pour drinks out of an ooze canister. Looking around Mini Boss, it was very clear that the designers of this incredible barcade really poured their hearts out in trying to create the best classic gaming experience possible. From the engaging artwork to the dynamic pop cultural icons projected on the TV walls straight out of the 80s and 90s to even the revolving mini boss theme, this incredible beercade was clearly a safe haven for old gamers and new gamers alike. The first games we checked out while we were there were the selection of pinball games they had. I was definitely drawn in by a very specific one. That was the Stranger Things pinball game. I had never played it before, but it looked like a lot of fun. Playing it for the first time, I immediately got hooked on its awesomeness. I mean, I absolutely love the Netflix show, but check this out. You can actually unlock the Demogorgon in this pinball game. Let's definitely see that again. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? Just like the kids from the show, I battled the Demogorgon with the best of them. I think I put something like $3 worth of quarters into this pinball machine, and I loved every single minute of it. My wife and I were having so much fun taking turns playing pinball, and of course quenching our thirst with the amazing drink selection they had there. Then it was time to check out the other arcade cabinets, starting with one of the very best ever. Exploring the other side of the beercade, they had a fun selection of classic beat-em-up games, shooting games, racing games, and other classic mainstays which were all a lot of fun to play. We actually ended up playing almost every single one of them and of course making sure to stay well hydrated. The vibe and overall atmosphere in Miniboss was a really cool and chill one. One where you could hang out and play your favorite arcade games with coworkers, friends, and family, and of course, take in the amazing art style of the beercade. Just check out this mural on the wall. Kudos to the artist, and I feel like this belongs in some kind of retro gaming or maybe classic gaming museum. Here is the mural all in one photo. I think I spent like 20 minutes just looking at this and being reminded of my amazing childhood playing video games and waking up early to watch Saturday morning cartoons. Mini Boss had other really cool framed art on the wall that really added to the awesome atmosphere of the beercade. Looking at the framed artwork of some of my favorite retro consoles, I was transported back to the very first time I ever played them. I was totally digging the darker classic themes within this art. Walking over into the adjoined super good restaurant, you can enjoy some delicious food as well as play even more arcade cabinets. I even found some of my favorite games here. For anyone who knows me well, you know I absolutely have to play the Simpsons arcade game whenever I get a chance. Unfortunately, it was out of order, but I guess that just means I need to come back again and try playing it then. The food here is really good. Definitely check it out. I'm not going to lie. I was extremely impressed with the attention to detail in this room. Even at the place where you return your plateware and cups after eating and drinking, there was a really cool collection of Buddhist figurines as well as gaming figurines as well. 
there was also a set of ascendant framed artwork where you kind of just had to sit back and admire the artistic expression. The attention to detail was everywhere, including scenes from classic video games up on top of the wall above the exit sign. After trying the fried rice and fried chicken, we can confidently say that Super Good was in fact super good. We stopped for a moment to enjoy the rest of our drinks and really take it all in. After that, we had to check out the rest of the selection of amazing pinball games. It was really cool to play them all and also see the mini boss artwork up close and personal. I really have to hand it to Miniboss for having a great selection of pinball games. Next, you know I had to play some X-Men vs Street Fighter. My wife played it as well and actually even got further than I did. When we weren't playing arcade games, it was kind of cool just to kick back, enjoy our drinks and our food, and watch some of the awesome retro-themed pop cultural animated as well as movie clips from the 80s and 90s. It is so cool that they have a revolving carousel of this type of entertainment. Watching these clips really brought me back to my glory days of playing video games as a kid and watching Saturday morning cartoons and then we can't forget being mesmerized by breakdancing awesomeness. A very cool and engaging way to relax before playing one last round of video games. Of course the few remaining quarters we had left went to the pinball games we had yet to play. Black Knight sort of rage was fun, but I gotta give it up to Monster Bash, which was totally captivating to play and really cool to see them rock out on top of the pinball machine. Overall, my wife and I had an absolute blast at Mini Boss. So based upon our visit, I can confidently say that this is a must visit beercade. Seriously, every part of our experience was amazing. A few tips though would be to make sure to try the drink specials. Coming from us, they were really fun and totally added to the experience. Also make sure to bring ones and fives so you can get quarters for all the machines. Although we were told that sometimes the machines are randomly set to free play. And finally, make sure to try their food. Out of all the beer kids I've ever been to, this is some of the best food I've ever had. Remember, super good is actually super good. Alright, that was our visit down to the one and only Mini Boss Beardcade in downtown San Jose. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to like it, as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for future videos. And always remember, damn it feels good to be a gamer.